On the east coast of England is one of the most significant deep water estuaries in the United Kingdom, forming the historic boundary between the counties of Yorkshire and Lincolnshire. It is one of Britain's largest estuaries, draining one-fifth of the landmass of England. The Humber's muddy appearance is due to suspended sediment coming mainly from rivers and eroded clay cliffs and along the northern part of the coast. Sediment deposits on the shoreline of the estuary create and maintain a wide range of wet and dry habitats, from salt marsh and mudflats to reed beds and sand dunes. These important habitats support a large range of animals and plants, some of which are extremely rare or threatened with extinction. The number of wildfowl and waders can rise to as many as 200,000 in the winter months, presenting amazing spectacles of huge flocks in flight. The diverse and special environment within the estuary has resulted in the Humber estuary being classified as one of the most important sites in Europe. As such, the environment of the Humber estuary is protected by national and international law. The estuary is a very busy waterway with both passenger and commercial traffic accessing the many ports both within the estuary and upstream, a key link to northwest Europe. Major ports of Hull, Grimsby, Goole and Immingham are all situated on the estuary and form an important trade gateway, handling a huge volume of the UK's international trade. The Humber is an incredibly important estuary to the UK. It handles over 80 million tonnes of cargo uh, to support the industry up in the, in the north of England, to support consumers across the north of England, and our reach across the Humber is very much nationwide. The Humber handles in excess of 40,000 vessel movements a year. Uh, ABP on the Humber employs over 1,200 people, and we support in the region of 40,000 jobs across the, the Humber and the north of England. Of course everybody understands the importance of the Humber estuary itself to the economics of the whole of the county and, and probably the whole of the country. Everybody understands that the Humber estuary carries one of the highest degrees of flood risk and that's of particular importance of course. Within the estuary, sea levels are rising as a result of climate change. Tidal flooding poses an increasing threat to communities and habitats around the estuary, with much of the land area characterised as flat and low-lying. In January 1953, an extremely damaging flood led to the loss of 300 lines and flooded 24,000 homes. Almost 100,000 hectares of low-lying coastal land was flooded, stretching from Yorkshire right down to the Thames estuary. In 2013, a storm surge affected the Humber estuary, raising water levels beyond those recorded in the 1953 flood. The risk as far as tidal flooding is, uh, is pretty substantial. There are probably more than a half a million people at tidal flood risk around the Humber. The Environment Agency's Humber Flood Risk Management Strategy is a long-term plan for managing flood risk from the Humber estuary, approved by the government in 2007. The strategy sets out the overall approach to manage the risk of tidal flooding around the estuary in ways that are sustainable for people who live there, the economy and the environment. More than £75 million of flood risk management schemes have been completed around the estuary since the strategy was approved, reducing the risk of flooding to more than 40,000 homes, as well as businesses, industry and land. And a further £86 million of government funding will be spent between 2015 and 2021, reducing the risk of flooding to 50,000 homes. However, ensuring that communities and industry around the Humber continue to thrive and prosper comes at a cost. A cost to our environment. Expansion of the ports and other industries located around the estuary leads to a loss of mudflat, as new infrastructure extends out into the estuary environment and the presence of flood defences prevent the rollback of habitat that would otherwise take place. Without intervention, this would lead to a shrinkage in the habitat areas over time, affecting wildlife and especially bird populations that rely on these areas for their food and for breeding grounds. Migratory birds journey thousands of miles from their Arctic breeding grounds to seek out the Humber's plentiful food sources and to roost in neighbouring grasslands and wetlands. Undertaking such amazing journeys pushes the birds to the limit of their endurance. 
The survival depends on favourable weather conditions and the presence of adequate food at the many different sites they visit on their migratory journey. A major challenge in the estuary is to find a balance between protecting critical habitat for birds and other wildlife, whilst adapting to climate change and meeting the need for economic development. Law requires us to ensure that the unique environment of the Humber estuary is preserved and protected for both people and wildlife. This presents a major challenge and an outstanding opportunity for the Humber over the coming years. The habitat scheme that we are creating at Skeffling is often referred to as a managed realignment scheme. What this means is that we move the fronting coastal defences further back inland. Um, we then work within the habitat area to create a variety of habitats, uh, mudflats, salt marsh, some freshwater areas, some higher roosting ground areas. And then once we've completed those works within the site, we then breach the existing flood defence embankments to allow a controlled flow of the estuary into the new habitat area. This project will create a sustainable environmental area that will be accessible to the public with better access for wheelchair users and good car parking facilities. But also for families, if you're a bird watcher, an angler, uh, if you're interested in rambling uh, or fishing, all of those things are much better provided by the project that we're going to put forward with new facilities being put in place. In addition to that, uh, it will help to create better flood defences, but also allow ABP to offset some of the impact of, the way of our port infrastructure so that we can grow our business here, but more importantly, grow jobs for the local area. As well as providing valuable habitat, the Environment Agency and ABP have been working with the local community to look at what additional benefits and facilities could be included within the scheme to increase local enjoyment of the area. It's um, an amazing scheme, it's a very large scheme, it's a very expensive scheme, but the cost benefit to the wider community is absolutely massive. We're incredibly grateful for the feedback that we've had from the community in terms of how we can maximise the benefits that the scheme will deliver, not only to the habitat, but to the local users in the area and the people living behind the scheme. One of the things about this whole thing has been the consultation that has taken place. There's been wide consultation with the parishes, with the users, with interested parties, and we get regular updates as to what's going on, what's happening, what can happen. Once it's built, the scheme will have created over 300 hectares of mudflat and salt marsh habitat and 75 hectares of freshwater habitat, providing essential feeding and roosting sites to support the huge number of migratory birds that depend on the estuary for their survival. The habitat that we are delivering here will ensure that the precious environment of the Humber estuary is maintained well into the future to support those global ecosystems that rely heavily on the habitat here within our Humber estuary. On a cold February morning, with the mist lying low over the estuary at low tide, what you can see is a huge expanse of intertidal mudflats. Now to you and I that might look pretty unprepossessing, and yet to hundreds of thousands of migrating birds, that is a lifeline, that is an oasis. and for the Humber estuary to be the great place that we want for people both to work and to live, we also need to make the space for the wildlife because it's that that really makes this a very, very special place. As trades change, trades come and go, ports continue to reinvent themselves. And we work very closely and responsibly with the Environment Agency and other stakeholders to ensure what we do works in sympathy and harmony with the environment. The Outstrays to Scaffling Habitat Scheme unlocks the ability for us to continue to undertake important and necessary flood protection works around the estuary, enabling the continued growth of British industry, reflecting our ambition for a prosperous Humber with a world-class economy and a world-class environment, which is a safe and sustainable place to live, work and visit.